Let's take a closer look at the route table, just to make sure that we understand the contents here. Notice that with the connected routes, they're slightly different in a RIP learned route because they do indicate being directly connected to an interface. Beyond that, though, I see all of the R's showing that I have learned information from RIP, and I see the target network ID. Now note the bracket here. In the brackets, I see number 120, which is the administrative distance of the RIP protocol, and I also see the accurate hop count following the slash, meaning that this network is one hop away. That indicates what the transit path is to get into that network. You see, following that, we have the gateway address, what is called the logical next hop for this router to get to that target, the length of time the route has been in the table, and the interface on which to exit. Wherever the output packet buffer is, the data needs to be switched. So it is showing us a completely converged network.